the barbell bench versus the dumbbell bench. Which should you choose and why? Three main differences to keep in mind with both of these exercises include number one, the skill component of each exercise. So in general, the barbell bench press will be a much more technical exercise. You have to be concerned with your feet, your hips, your thoracic position, how your upper back is positioned, how you're gripping the bar, unracking the bar, and how you are tracking that bar down regarding your elbow position and what's gonna be most efficient for your anatomy and your mechanics. So from a pure technical and skill focused standpoint, the barbell bench is a little bit more technical than the dumbbell bench. The dumbbell bench is a lot easier, I think, for beginners to kind of pick up and self-organize and figure out. Because we have dumbbells, we can position our elbows a little bit easier, so it's typically an easier exercise to kind of figure out and play with as you go. The second major difference between the barbell bench and the dumbbell bench is why most lifters and athletes will use each exercise. So with the barbell bench, you're gonna have a bias towards strength focused goals. So with the barbell bench, you can typically load them heavier. And now this is not to say the dumbbell bench can't get you strong as heck because it definitely can. But if your goal is moving the most weight possible when it comes to horizontal pressing, generally speaking, the barbell bench will be your go-to movement there. Now that said, let's kind of focus in on who's gonna be most concerned with the strength component of the barbell bench. In general, if you're a power lifter, the barbell bench is gonna be typically a movement that you are regularly performing because it is specific to your sport. And if you are an athlete that has a lot of horizontal pressing and you wanna get as strong as possible in this movement pattern, then the barbell bench or even like the football bar for your pressing can be great options. Now with the dumbbell bench, you are gonna have a slightly higher bias towards hypertrophy, but it's also fantastic for strength. To be quite honest, I am a firm believer that if you can press heavy dumbbells, that will have a ton of carryover to your barbell bench. And honestly, in my off season for powerlifting, all I use is dumbbells and my barbell bench typically goes up once I get a little bit more acclimated and into my skill focused mindset with it after a few weeks. So with the dumbbell bench, you're gonna have a little bit more of a blend of hypertrophy and strength because we can change our elbow position a little bit easier. And because we can typically take dumbbells a little bit deeper through the eccentric, we can typically get a little bit more stretch on the pec. And because we can move our elbows a little bit more freely, it's typically easier for most lifters and athletes to feel that stretch on the pec and really focus on that time under tension. And again, you can get really strong with dumbbells. This is not to say you cannot use them for strength. The third difference to keep in mind with these exercises is kind of the muscles that they're going to work. So if your goal is pure pec development, the dumbbell bench press can be an awesome option. Again, we get a little bit more free range with our positions, we can get a little bit deeper with our range of motion, so it can typically be an awesome option for building the pecs specifically. With the barbell bench, you are gonna be a little bit more limited based on where that barbell is gonna hit on the chest and with your overall mechanics. Plus, you have to consider like chest thicknesses and torso thicknesses because that can also impact your range of motion, which can then have carryover to the hypertrophy of both these exercises. So if your goal is pure pec development, one of the major differences between the barbell and dumbbell bench press is in general, the dumbbell bench press can be a better option for most lifters and athletes. And now this is not to say that you cannot build your pecs with the barbell bench press because you most certainly can. However, this is speaking more for the recreational lifter who just wants to focus on their pec hypertrophy and the aesthetics of their pecs. All right, so now let's talk about some muscles worked with the barbell bench press and the dumbbell bench press. So both exercises are going to train the pec major. Now, if your goal is to get as much stimulus and stretch on the pec major as possible, generally the dumbbell bench press will be the better option there. It'll give you a little bit more regarding the ranges of motion that that you can access. Both exercises are also gonna train the triceps. The barbell bench press will generally result in a heavier overload for the triceps regarding their extension capabilities. The dumbbell bench press will also train the tries and there's gonna be a little bit more of a stability component, so that's not to say they won't, but if you are trying to overload the tries and train them a little bit heavier, the barbell bench will often be a better option or even going for a close grip barbell bench press can be a really good option if your goal is really hammering your triceps. Both exercises are also gonna train the anterior delt, so the front deltoid head here. Now with the barbell bench press, you are gonna be a little bit more limited regarding the range of motion. Once again, your anatomy will factor in here and how much your anterior delt is being trained will also come into play here. Now with the dumbbell bench press, with that greater range of motion and with that elbow freedom, we can get a little bit more bias towards the anterior delt if we want. For example, if we wanna go elbows out, we will get a little bit more of a shoulder bias. Whereas in the barbell bench press, if we have those elbows flare out, that might just 
just lead to some wonky mechanics and some shoulder discomfort. So that's why I typically say go dumbbell bench press if your goal is also building the anterior deltoid as well from a hypertrophy context. Outside of those three major muscle groups, you will have other muscles at play here, but I think those are the big three that most lifters and athletes are most concerned with when programming barbell bench and dumbbell bench and really kind of conceptualizing how they fit into their program regarding the strength and hypertrophy of those muscle groups. All right, so now let's rip through some context as to when you might want to program the dumbbell bench or the barbell bench for your goals and needs. So if you are a power lifter, which should you do? both. Your goal is to get freaking strong. So the dumbbell bench can be an awesome supplementary to your barbell bench strength, and it can be awesome in the off season to give your shoulders a break from barbell pressing. However, in your context, because the barbell bench is specific to your sport, you are going to need some exposure to that movement because there is a big skill component of the barbell bench press. If you are a recreational lifter and you just want to build some general strength and focus on hypertrophy, in most cases, the dumbbell bench will be an awesome option to go for. You can load them heavy, you can train them for both strength and hypertrophy, you can get deeper ranges of motion, and they're not gonna be as technical as the barbell bench. This is not to say that you shouldn't barbell bench as a recreational lifter. However, with that greater skill component of that exercise, you are gonna need to be a little bit more conscious of how much time investment you're putting into that exercise. You don't wanna go rip through heavy barbell benches and not focus on your form and then get yourself into a bad spot down the road. I have seen that a lot of times with lifters who end up having shoulder discomfort and issues down the road because they didn't dial in their form and their strength progressed a little bit too quickly for what their form was dialed in for. If you're a beginner, which exercise should you program? Honestly, I think both can be really great. If your goal is to build your barbell bench, you obviously want to be performing that. I would suggest working with a coach or having a friend who's further in their lifting journey help you out so you can better understand the mechanics needed for a really solid barbell bench. Now that said, if your goal is just building general pressing strength and you have no desire to ever work on a heavy barbell bench press or even touch a barbell bench press, the dumbbell bench can be an awesome option for beginners because once again, it's a little bit easier to learn. If I give you a pair of dumbbells, it's a lot easier, I think, to kind of self-organize and figure out how to press more efficiently versus a barbell bench just because there's less going on regarding the mechanics needed. If your goal is top-end strength, which exercise should you do? Honestly, the barbell bench will typically be your best bet. You can load them heavier, but that's not to say that you can't build top-end strength with dumbbell bench presses because you most certainly can, and I think the stability component that comes along with the heavy dumbbell bench press can have an awesome carryover to your top end pressing strength. So they kind of go in tandem with one another, program accordingly. If your goal is hypertrophy, which exercise should you choose? Generally speaking, the dumbbell bench press will be your best bet. I've talked about this multiple times in this video already, but because you can manipulate your position a little bit easier and access deeper ranges of motion, the dumbbell bench press can often be a really great option for really hammering your pecs, triceps, and interior delts, and you can easily manipulate your position to get a little bit more of a bias towards the muscles that you are after regarding your hypertrophy goals. All right guys, that wraps up this breakdown of the barbell bench press versus the dumbbell bench press. I love both exercises just for different reasons in different contexts. If you have additional questions on programming each of these exercises for your goals, drop a comment down below or reach out to me personally, whichever you prefer. And as always y'all, drop a like on the video, drop subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.